Sophie Bozeski, and I would like to welcome you to the Macedonia in a Globalized World panel. As you are all aware, in spite of all the challenges the Republic of Macedonia has faced since its independence in 1991, the country has proven its ability to function as a multi-ethnic democracy and demonstrated that it is capable of enormous transformational power, resulting from its strategic commitments to become part of NATO and the European Union. Over the years, the Republic of Macedonia has grown into a country of regional stability and has contributed to regional and global security, as well as peace and stability. In 2002, the Republic of Macedonia successfully contributed outside of its borders within the context of NATO-led mission ISAF in Afghanistan. Since then, the Republic of Macedonia has expanded its contribution by participating in the mission Iraqi Freedom, the military operation in the European Union in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Althea, and the mission of the United Nations, UNIFIL, in Lebanon. In addition, the Republic of Macedonia provides continuous support for the NATO-led mission K4 in Kosovo through the operations of the host Na nation support coordination center. Macedonia has recently taken over the rotating chairmanship of the Council of Europe's committee of members holding the post for the first time since the country gained independence. The Council of Europe has 47 member states and is one of the oldest international organizations in the world. During the six month long presidency, Macedonia intends to focus on strengthening human rights protection, fostering integration while respecting diversity and promoting youth participation in political life. I would like to now take the opportunity to introduce each of our panel members. Um, please hold any questions or comments till the end, and I ask that you take a moment now, if you haven't already done so, to turn off your cell phones or any other electronic devices. Our first speaker today is Alexander Nikolovsky. Alexander is in his second term as a member of parliament in Macedonia. He is responsible for communications with Canada on behalf of the parliament. He has been highly involved in politics from his youth and is currently president of numerous Macedonian delegations, such as the delegation of the Parliament of the Republic of Macedonia to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, the Committee on the Rules of Procedure and Mandatory and Immunity Issues, as well as the head of the delegation of the Parliament of the Republic of Macedonia to the Parliament of the Western East European Union. Alexander is also a deputy member of the Committee on the Political System and Inter-Ethnic Relations, the Committee of European Issues, and the Committee on Election and Appointment Issues. Honestly, I could speak about Alexander's contributions all day, but instead I ask that you refer back to his um, biography that is in, our, in your UMD magazines. Sophie, thank you. Thank you for the nice words. Здравейте и сестри, дами и господа, почитувани пријатели. На почеток би сакал да се заблагодарам за поханата која што ја добив од Обединетата Македонска дијаспора. Овие неколку дена да бидам заедно со вас и да размениме ставови и мислења за работите кои што мислам дека се важни за дијаспората. И би сакал сите лично да... Еднаш, значи, би сакал да се заблагодарам на поханата која што ја добив од Обединетата Македонска дијаспора, да овие неколку дена бидам заедно со вас, да размениме ставови и мисленја за се тоа што е битно за нашата дијаспора и во Канада, и во Соединетите Американски држави, и во Европа, и во Австралија, и секаде на каде што не има. Би сакал лично да ве мотивирам во следните неколку дена, но и во периодот кој што доаѓа после тоа да контактирате со мене за сето она што мислите дека е значајно и дека е потребно да го разговараме и во рамки на македонскиот парламент и во рамки на македонската влада 
sve do neli sljedeći izbori, od toga će imati i trojica predstavnici u Makedonski od parlamenta, tako što komunikacija da će odi daleko, daleko polesno. Sad je preložam na angleski, so cel da možeme neli posao odvetno zaradi gostite da diskutiramo vo sljedećem periodu. Regarding the subject we have today about the role in of Macedonia in the globalized world, I would like to mention a few things that are important for the process and after that I would like to give my personal uh, opinion about the political situation and about what I think is important in these processes. As you know, Macedonia established its independence in 1991 with the referendum and declaring its independence from that period started to associate in the international organizations. In that period, there were the first motions made in the parliament where it was clear said that the goal of Macedonia is Euro-Atlantic integration, meaning integration in NATO and the European Union. As you know, on April 7, 1993, Macedonia became member of the United Nations. And after that, of the old bodies and agencies that are related to the United Nations. In 1995, Macedonia became member of the Organization for Cooperation and Stability in Europe and also of the Council of Europe, the oldest European organization with 47 member countries, all, practically all countries in Europe except uh, Belarus. Also, Macedonia is full member of the World Trade Organization still, since 2003, of, the, of CEFTA, the trade organization of the uh, European countries from 2006 and also of the organization from, for the Francophony from 2006 also. Regarding the Council of Europe, Macedonia is actively present since 1995, November 9th, and in the Assembly since 1993, first as observers and after that from 95 F as full members. This is an organization that is dealing with human rights, protection of human rights. As you know, the Court for Human Rights is in Strasbourg is under this organization and practically everybody that uh, uh, is uh, not very happy with the decisions of the courts in his domestic country in Europe can make appeal to, to this court. And many of our people, especially in Bulgaria and Greece, has used this, this tool. And I want to encourage them to continue to, to do that. As you know, Macedonia is now chairing this organization. First time in the history of con the country we are chairing one multinational organization that is very important for us. We have six month term, in which term, as it was mentioned from Sophie, we have three major um, goals which we want to reach. Also, we are making a lot of events inside the country and uh, also in Strasbourg, trying to uh, use this opportunity as good as possible. There was an event in the parliament, uh, the standing committee and the bureau and the presidency of the parliamentary assembly was there. I am president of our delegation in the parliamentary assembly of the Council of Europe. And uh, I want to uh, inform you that uh, before the presidency, we had one interesting, I will say, uh, very, very, I will say, lachmus uh, uh, discussion inside the organization of the naming of the of the our presidency. We decided to be Macedonian chairmanship, as every country has its own right to right to to do that. It was opposed by the Greeks. But there was no mechanism where they, could, they can do something more than opposing that. But it was very important for us because the discussions we have with them about the name dispute has gone out of the frames that were in the beginning and now practically are putting a question to the identity culture language and using the adjective Macedonian. The Council of Europe was an example that it's true and that it's happening, unfortunately, but we'll continue to, to do our best to uh, overcome this, this issue.